Barbara Patterson for GHE Radio. GHE stands for Global Healing Exchange, bringing back the balance. The intention of this program is to inspire you and to connect you with your inner wisdom. Today's guest on the show is Sharon White, founder of GHE. Hi Sharon, how are you today? Hi Barbara, I'm very well, thank you. Thanks for coming to the show and thanks for being our first guest on the show. So let us know a little bit of, about um, your vision of GHE and what does GHE mean for you personally? Well, Global Healing Exchange um, has been designed to help healers come together um, and for people to find out how to heal themselves. Um, I've been in the industry for a long time and there's a lot of people out there that are looking for um, answers outside of themselves and going to the doctors and taking a pill. And what I've wanted to do is bring people together to realize that they can find all the answers within themselves and um, look for medicines holistically to help to heal themselves and to realize that the, mo the body, the mind, and the, the spirit are all connected and we actually have to connect all of those to truly heal. And um, how long have you been working with Global Healing Exchange now? Uh, Global Healing Exchange, it's been about two years now um, in the making. Um, I've, I've had, obviously had to learn how to do the back end of the website and learn all of that. Um, and in, in the time, we've got a growing community, I think, of nearly 15,000 now on Facebook. And, um, it, yeah, it's going really well. connected with some amazing healers around the world who write articles for us. Um, you know, from homeopathic people to shamans, um, personal trainers, nutritionists. We've just got some amazing healers um, with us now. So it's fantastic. A lot's happened in that two years. So um, as I understand correct and the way I've understood the whole concept of GHE is you're building community. And one way of building the community is through the website of Global Healing Exchange. And the other um, part of it at the moment is building the community um, and working with the community on Facebook. So uh, could you give us the, the website, please, and um, the Facebook name? The Facebook name is um, Global Healing Exchange. And the website, you'll find us at www.globalhealingexchange.com. Okay, and what does what do, do we see when we go to the website? Um, it's a directory for people, so um, healers and trainers and coaches can register themselves there in a directory worldwide, and people that are seeking for a holistic approach or want um, to research some information on different modalities and different methods, they can come to the website also. Is that true? That's exactly right. So if you look at, at the front page, um, there's a big blue button there. So if you've got a holistic business, you can actually advertise there for free. You go, you press on the blue button and um, it will take you to where you need to go. Um, and then if you go and look at um, on the top page, on the top line there, it says articles. You click on that and it will give you a list of different types of articles that you could be looking for that have been written by um, these healers that um, I spoke around before. Okay, so when you say it's a global healing exchange, it's a global vision, it's connecting people around the world um, uh, to, to heal together and to, to live together and to learn and to experience together. You're working with um, with so many healers worldwide. Can you can you give us an overview of how many countries are already connected through global healing exchange? Oh, we've probably got maybe 20 countries already. Um, the, the majority, obviously, Australia, England, America, New Zealand, um, but all over Europe, we've got people. Obviously, you're from Germany and you heard about us. So, um, yeah, there's just it's just amazing how quickly um, when you're doing things over the web, how quickly people hear about you. It's amazing. Yeah, and it's, it's the, the feeling of true connection that, that I so appreciate, um, especially on a medium, uh, through a medium like Facebook, that the, the way, um, relationships are built between people is, is exactly right for this time now. So this works really well with the Global Healing Exchange. So where do you want to go with, with GHE? Well, it needs to get bigger. We we need to attract many more people. Um, and we want to start, rather than just keeping it virtual, we need to actually 
start um, having healing centres and events where people can come along to and actually talk to, pe- to real people. Um, you know, we, we actually have real bodies and real problems. So it's, it's nice to have all of this virtual world out there, but to actually c- really connect people physically is, is where we're aiming to get. Okay. Uh, and, and we'll probably start um, in Australia. Mm-hmm. Um, may, maybe locally do a few local events here and then branch out, but ultimately it will be global and we'll be touring globally. Okay, so do you have an idea? Is there is there any fixed plans for, for this year, for 2012 already? Or is it still all a work in progress as everything and everybody is right now with these immense times of shift and change? Well, that's the thing. Everything's so shifting and changing so fast that... Um, you know, in my plan, I will plan for next year and then suddenly something will happen. And, you know, I'm just leaving it open to the universe because I'm meeting so many people so fast right now that, um, you know, my, my plan would be to start the tours next year. But who knows? Who knows? <laughs> it's, yeah. it's just amazing. I'm just meeting so many people and I want to work with so many of them. So, um, you know, it's, it's obviously it takes time to plan these events. But we could do smaller events very spontaneously, you know. So that's the the beauty about having the web there. There's, you can tell, you know, you just put one post up and and you can get a lot of people there in your local area. So, yeah, I I'm just leaving it to the universe. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I mean, with this, you're you're inviting obviously people to take care um, and to share in in the community on the web and through Facebook as well. And if mm-hmm. anybody has anything locally that they would like to promote to get in touch with you. Is that correct? Yes, definitely. For sure. mm-hmm. You can get hold of me um, by Sharon at globalhealingexchange.com. Um, my email is actually both on my Facebook page and on my website. And I would love to hear from anyone that wants to uh, to work with us. Okay. Would you like to share a little bit of um, your own story of how how did this all happen that you, you came up with the idea of Global Healing Exchange? You've been saying you've been in the industry for yourself for quite a while, and um, I believe you've been working in the field of, or you still are working in the field of um, uh, helping clients, supporting clients on their personal path. Yeah, definitely. Um, okay, so it started... Um Back in 1996, actually, I started um, doing a diploma in holistic therapies, which included reflexology, Swedish massage, um, very basic um, type of course. It was a two-year course back then. And um, I then did, did my course, and then I went back over to New Zealand and actually set up a business. And then um, over the years, I did uh, more courses, um, working with um, the energy of the body, I, I sort of on my my course working with the physical body, I realised that there was an energetic body, and did more study on that, and that's when I went into doing the Reiki. Um, I also qualified as a personal trainer because I wanted to learn more about how the body works for my massage clients, and I was doing more um, rehabilitation style of of massage, working with chiropractors and physios and personal trainers, trying to get people well again, and um, I used to get these clients that would come back. I worked in a corporate gym, and they would come back time and time again for the same thing, and we'd fix them for a little while, but then um, they'd come back with the same problems, and I realized that a lot of that was what they're thinking. So then I started looking into the subconscious mind and how that works and realizing that to you know, the massage was a little bit of a band-aid for these people. Not for everybody, but for these people. And I actually had to get into their mind and get them thinking differently and doing different things in order to get different results. So then I studied to do um, hypnotherapy, timeline therapy, journey therapy, working with the subconscious mind. So that's what I still do today. I still work with massage um, with my clients, but I also work um, on changing their thoughts to get different results in their life. So I have a practice down here in um, in Manly that I, I see people as well as obviously working on Global Healing Exchange. Okay, so if, if somebody wishes to get um, in touch with you to, to schedule a session, that's, that's very possible also. 
And there it is again. There, one, On the one hand, there is the connection through the Internet and through Facebook. And for the people that are local in your area or are visiting locally, um, it's, well, it's, it's a great idea of just, you know, connecting with you and making an appointment for um, mm-hmm. checking out your work and checking out the founder of Global Healing Exchange, really. So um, you obviously had your own experience because the, the way I receive you is, um, you're teaching out of the experience that you have made yourself when you started growing in, an, in a conscious aware state. Mm. So um, I'm the same. I, I feel like from my own experience, that gives me a perspective of being able to walk a piece of the path with with people. So um, would you? Can you say what's your favorite um, tool? Do you have a favorite tool you work with, or is it is it just everything in your toolbox that you love that you carry around with you? And you draw out the tool that's fitting. I mean, yes, I always do draw out the tool. Obviously, when you've done so much study, you draw out. And, and no session is the same for, for with each client. You know, each client's different, but each session with each each individual is different as well, depending on what they need at the time. But I really do like um, timeline therapy. Actually, mm-hmm. that's probably my favourite tool because. You can really get to the deep root causes of um, what's going on with the client there and then and the emotions that um, they're holding on to. And we can get to the very first time they felt that emotion and draw it out of them. Um, And the reason I like this is because it's very fast-acting therapy. Um, you, You don't have to go into a therapy room and sit and talk to a therapist who doesn't really listen to you for an hour every week for six weeks six months six you know six years sometimes people are in therapy for years this type of therapy is very fast and very it it, it just changes people you know I have people that leave after an hour with me and they're just like completely different people Mm -hmm. um and that's what I love I just love to see people changing straight away Mm -hmm. yeah it's the instant spark of inspiration that, that something clicked inside of them, which they can apply straight away and they don't have to munch over it again and again and come back and discuss it further. It's just they can apply it straight away. Yeah, that is really, really fascinating. So um, why is that? The funny thing is, like now that Facebook has changed their format to timeline and you, you were talking about the timeline um, method, why is this called timeline? Because you go back in time of the life of the client. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yes, you do, and and, and sometimes it's um, generational. So sometimes we pick up our emotions from our family, from our, our you know people that have had influence in our life, and sometimes people go back into their past life as well. So whether you believe in that or not, your subconscious mind um, will give us metaphors for things. So. You know, somebody might not believe in a past life, but they're, they're like, oh, this is a past life that's come up. So, um, yeah, it just it's just amazing to where the mind goes and how the mind heals. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and especially how how fast these, these healings can happen and how fast yeah. people can just take, apply and move on um, and get unstuck. I, I keep calling it getting unstuck pretty fast instant results which is we can't always promise instant results but when people experience them and they accept the fact that they are doing this themselves and that it's not something outside or somebody outside of them it's just so beautiful because they don't have to come back for the next six years which is nice you know as well but um they can walk they can use us as crutches for a while and then they can throw the crutches away and they can walk on them by them themselves uh, and if they feel they want to come back, they can come back because it's their decision to come back. And it's not somebody telling them what they have to do. Um, so, so that way they're being really empowered. You know, that's what I love about it. That's what global healing is about. It's about empowering people to take their own health into their own hands. Mm-hmm. Definitely, definitely. And that, that's, that's really a good closing for, for, for your today's, um, for the interview with you today. I'm sure we're going to have you on again when it comes to, um, announcing certain events or certain new things. Is there anything, um, I think I, I know that something has changed or is going to change on your website this week. It has to do with a shop, I believe. Yes, I've, um, 
I've saw some amazing products and um, obviously over the last two years I've been working with some people and I've been trying out products and um, I'm going to be launching a shop. It's actually not on the website, it's on the Facebook page. Mm -hmm. Um, There will be a shop eventually on on the website, but there's a big development going on there. Um, And I've got some amazing products and the thing is I'm only going to sell things at this point that I've tried and I love. Um, So we've got some vibrational mist going in there. And um, we've got some chakra lace necklaces, and they are just beautiful. Now, the people that make these have amazing energy, and they just put all this love into the products. Um, whatever. I've got some healing balm from America that I tried that is just absolutely blow away. So I've got these products going on there, and I'm very, very excited to share them with, with all of you. Okay, cool. So there's lots happening uh, and lots, lot more to come. And um, I, I guess it's fun to gonna go and check out everything that's happening right now on the Facebook page, which is uh, facebook.com and then slash and it is Global Healing Exchange. And would you give us the website again, please, Sharon? www.globalhealingexchange.com. Okay. And yes, um, tune in again. We're going to do a show very soon again. And uh, then I will enjoy talking to members of the GHE community that are already connected. And they will share with us their teachings, experiences and ideas on the topic of healing. Thank you, Sharon, Sharon, for being with us today. And I'll see you soon. We talk to you soon. GHE, bringing back the balance. So blessings. This is Barbara. Bye bye.